Once you go mini, you realize like you really don't need as much crap as you thought you needed. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today I'm going to go over this mini GG backpack here because this is under a thousand dollars from Gucci. So I want to give you my little review on this. Mine is the limited edition Mickey one, but they also have the Ophelia one that is available on the website now. So let's talk about this. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Hey guys, let's talk about this cute little mini backpack. And what I realized is like when you go mini, you realize like I carry a lot, like way too much than I really need. And if you think about it, now that there's like Apple Pay and all this stuff. Like I don't even need a wallet really anymore, but I still feel like I need to have it. Like I, there's still, I need a wallet. I need, I need cash, even though like people don't really use cash anymore. So maybe eventually like our bags could get even smaller because all we need is to fit a phone. But this bag is really cute. This is the backpack. And I love that the price point for this bag is under a thousand dollars. So I ordered this, I pre-ordered this before it came out back in, I believe it was beginning of March. It took a while for me to get it. If you see my reveal video, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get it because of all the things that happened with the virus, but I ended up getting it. I also pre-ordered at the time, which I still have not received, is the Mickey card case. I thought that was really cute. I wanted to have something from this collection. So when I saw a handbag that seemed like it would be something that I would be able to use that was under $1,000, I figured, you know what? Snatch it up and try it out. So it was like, you look at the bag and you're thinking, oh, little fit necessities. But when you have round bags and you have like rectangular phones and more uh, wallets and things like that, it gets kind of tricky. So I kind of want to show you that you can't really fit a lot in here, but you can fit a phone, which is what everybody wants to know. You can fit a phone without a case. I have the Pro. So I have the, the regular Pro not the big one, just the regular size pro, and that fits without a case in this bag. So most of the time, because I'm clumsy, I like to have a case. I sometimes will just stick it in my back pocket. My husband says I look like one of the teens that works for him <laughs> with the phone in my back pocket, or I'm holding my phone. So you can fit one in there, but most of the time I don't. I just like make sure I'm wearing jeans or something where I can stick my phone in my back pocket. Now, this bag here, the dimensions are really not that big. The width is 6.3 inches. The height is also 6.3 inches because it is a circle and your depth is a little over an inch and a half at 1.6 inches. So you have an adjustable strap here. So this strap, the only, like a con that I would love is I would love if I could remove these straps, then I could add like another strap to it, which would make this bag super, super versatile but you cannot like this, these straps do not come off, but they are adjustable here with, with the buckle. So there are some clever ways that you can wear this. So of course you can wear it like the classic backpack style that I do. I have it on the longest setting because you can also wear it as like a shoulder bag. So sometimes I'll have it on the longest setting and I wear it as a shoulder bag, but then you could also do it kind of like how people do like the bum bags, where you wear it cross body and just have it like across your chest like that with the straps in the back or you do it the opposite way having these straps in the front with the bag cross body on the back which is super cool i don't really do the one shoulder with the strap hanging down because i really don't like that strap hanging down and hitting me in the the bootay but another clever way that you can do this which i have i've been playing around with it but i haven't really i don't still don't go out many places but you can also wear this as a belt bag. It is a little complicated, but not too bad that you just take these buckles because it's almost their buckle, just like a belt. And then you wrap it on your waist, you wrap it on your waist, and then you buckle it to the size that you want. And it kind of just hangs on the side. Now, because of the straps, it kind of just like tilts to the side here. So, and hangs a little bit because, I mean, you could put it through your, straps, but I never do that when I'm wearing like, when I'm making handbags, belt bags, because when you have to go to the bathroom, it's like a pain to 
unweave it from your jeans and you know your girl drinks tons of coffee and she's gonna have a cocktail or two if she ever leaves the house so I need to be able to go to the bathroom without stressing so I usually just leave it up leave it not attached to my belt loops and when you have to get into it it will tilt to the side so you'll just have to hold it with your one hand and then unzip it and get your items that you need so I find that very cool that I can use it as a backpack I can make it a shoulder bag I can also I tried attaching another strap to it and obviously you can attach straps to it because there was like there's these two things so I did attach a strap I just didn't care for the look of these straps kind of like hanging down I kind of thought that looked silly so it wasn't for me you could because you have rings here you can attach to I just I tried but I didn't like the look of it but I did like it as a belt bag I just didn't have the right outfit I was trying to wear an outfit and the top was too flowy so then you couldn't see Gigi's and Mickey so it didn't work for me for the outfit I was wearing when I took this out last but you definitely can so I'm gonna show you those pictures let me know what you think of this one let me show you what I have in here which is not much so you unzip the zipper is so nice like with Gucci zipper is really nice the leather that you have is like a textured leather so you not have to worry about scratches and it smells divine I don't know what it is about Gucci like leather but I just really really love the smell of it now the inside is similar to all the like Gucci Marmont bags where you have like the suede interior and this one you have room for credit cards so you don't even like need to have like when you pare it down just have your license and a credit card that's all you really need and I have in here I have my car keys and then my key clay and then I also have my Mustang keys because we took the Mustang and that is it like I also had like loose lip gloss in here you can fit that in here you can fit your phone I had that in without the case but yeah I mean you really can't fit much in there but I definitely when you see this in here and my keys you could definitely fit like a another card holder and stuff in here and your phone again just the regular size phone not a plus or a max or those bigger ones probably a Samsung would not fit in here because those seem to be a lot longer because it is only a little over six inches but yeah I find this super cute and sweet I love this Mickey on there I, I don't know it makes me feel like young and hard and I know it's a backpack and I'm older I'm gonna be in my late 30s here soon guys I'm gonna be 37 soon I can't believe it but I still think that this is very versatile. I really like it. The price point being under a thousand. I feel like that's a no brainer. If you want a Gucci bag, that's not super big and versatile because everybody always talks about little the little Gucci mini Marmons. And this is bigger and holds more. And that bag is also versatile, like where it has a belt bag and stuff like that. But I think this one like looks even like cuter. I feel like this looks more expensive than the mini Marmont in my opinion because it like, looks like it would be you know it looks like it's a bigger bag and I think it looks a little bit nicer so yeah guys what do we think of this beauty all right guys that is everything let me know what you think how you like this bag are you rocking mini bags have you realized you don't need to carry as much baggage with you as you thought you did love to hear from you in the comments below and as always I'm gonna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again bye guys